what's up guys welcome back to joe tutorial and in today's video i am going to show you how to extract frames from videos using vlc player and this is going to be in high quality guys so i'm going to open up my vlc player here and once you're inside the vlc player guys all you need to do is just simply go to tools here and go down to preferences right let me move this over on this screen so that you can see it then from here go ahead and click on all settings at the bottom here so here it says a show settings sample but you want to click on all so that you're able to see all the settings here from here you want to scroll down guys to where it says filters at the bottom here on the videos so you want to go ahead and expand this and you want to scroll all the way down to where it says screen filter from here you can go ahead and you can change the file type or the file format you can use png jpeg whichever you want you want to go ahead and you want to leave the image width and the image height to minus one so that it comes out as is you can basically set your own resolution you can set 1080 by whatever you can basically specify what you want here or you can leave it as is as for the file name prefix you can put whatever you want right i would just leave it as the scene here and for the recording ratio guys this decides in what intervals you want to capture the frame right example if you want to export one in every 10 frame you just simply need to type 10 here for example right and that's also like if you have a video which is 30 frames per second obviously that's going to be like that's going to be like 30 divided by 10 which basically means that you want to capture three image per second right and for example if you put one here simply that would extract every frame from the video so it's up to you how you want to do it in this tutorial i'm going to simply go ahead and just put like 10 and i'm going to leave it as that now guys i also want to mention as well for the directory part prefix you want to put a part so that the files can be stored there now what i'm going to do i am going to go ahead and set up one and show you how to do it so in my downloads i'm going to create a folder here and i'm going to simply save that folder as test now once you go ahead and you open up that folder you go ahead and click here and you have the path from the directory here so you have the c drive user andrew downloads and test so you want to go ahead and copy that and once you go back just simply put the directory path here in the section and that would basically means that whenever you start to capture that you'll be able to get those images right now once you finish with this all you need to do simply go back guys and you want to click on filter right now once you click on filter here you want to ensure that you click on filter under the videos so that you can enable the screen video filter so you want to look for it in the list here and you will find the screen video filter here and you simply want to click on save now this works automatically so all you need to do is just find a video and play it so I'm going to simply close out of this VLC player here and I'm going to open up my downloads folder here which I have a video and all I will do is just simply go ahead and play this video using the VLC player and this is going to capture it automatically so while the video is playing this is capturing automatically so I'm going to simply wait for this to finish and once this is finished we will go ahead and check the location of the test folder to see what it actually captured for us right now as you can see guys this is finished so all i'm gonna do is just simply go ahead and close out of the vlc player here and now when we go back to the download folder as you can see here i open it have a look at that it literally captures those videos for me within the intervals that i specified so i can go ahead and i can change the view i'm gonna put it like large so you can see it and it basically captured it as you can see so if you have a look you see that it captured the different screenshots here and there you have it guys this is very easy and very simple how you can use vlc player to extract frames from videos in high quality i'm going to open up one and show you that image have a look at that very nice quality images was captured from the vlc player so you can really use it to capture really nice quality and if you look towards the side here you can see the dimensions of this video that is 1920 by 1088 so very nice quality right 